Guys, I just got $10,000 in cryptocurrency totally for free. Like, no gimmicks, not clickbait, 10 grand free money for doing basically nothing, all right? And that's one of the craziest things about being in blockchain, being in this space early, is you can get access to all these opportunities that nobody else knows about, all right? It really pays off to be an early adopter, especially in this DeFi space. All right, so I'm gonna tell you about that in this video. I'm gonna show you how to get your free money, walk you through step by step. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's jump into this. So there's a lot to cover in this video. I'm gonna talk about how to get your free money, but I'm also gonna talk about a lot of other important updates in this video. Like I said, it's important to you know be an early adopter in this space because there's a huge payoff for that. So I'm gonna talk about some other big updates, like some big updates in DeFi, E2.0, scaling, and also answering some of your questions that I get from you all. So make sure you stick around at the end of this video if you wanna find out. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, then make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below on whether you like this type of video or not. All right, so how can you get your free money? Well, Uniswap is the most popular decentralized cryptocurrency exchange on the Ethereum platform, you know, with over a billion dollars in liquidity at the time of recording this video. And they just launched their own token, okay? This is huge because they actually gave away tokens to people who have used Uniswap before. And the crazy thing about Uniswap is, you know, it's a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. You use MetaMask to connect to it, you know, an Ethereum wallet. So you could have multiple accounts on Uniswap. And as long as you've ever traded with Uniswap in any of those accounts, then you have free Uniswap tokens waiting for you. And so if you've ever traded on Uniswap before, then you have at least 400 Uni tokens waiting for you. And at the time of recording this video, you know, that's about $7 per token. So let's see here, you know, seven times... 400, that's $2,800 per account, all right? And if you're like me and you have multiple accounts in your MetaMask that have used Uniswap, you know, you can multiply that number by four and that's over $10,000. And now there is one catch to this. You know, you had to have used Uniswap before September 1st of 2020 in order to claim these tokens. And so you shouldn't have a problem with that. You know, if you've been following along with this channel, I've been talking about Uniswap a ton. I just did a tutorial about it last week. And so that's why it really pays to be, you know, an early adopter in this space and start using this stuff on the ground floor. So as always, you know, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash the like button down below so you can see more videos about this and stay up to date on the space as these kind of things happen. And this is such an insane move from Uniswap because they're going to gain so much loyalty from their community and they're going to set the pace as a leader in this space. And a lot of other people are probably going to follow them too. And I'll talk about that again towards the end of the video when we talk about scaling. And yeah, this is such a huge deal in the community. I mean, people on Twitter are going nuts over this kind of stuff. I mean, it really is a huge paradigm shift. Uh, Jordan here on Twitter is talking about, you know, before DeFi, you pay to be an early adopter, like you go buy the new tech. But after DeFi, you get paid to be an early adopter. And that's like what's happening here with Uniswap. People are talking about Uniswap's air drop being like a stimulus check and that is better than the stimulus check that we received here in america of you know twelve hundred dollars and it's true i mean it's over double that amount uh at the time of recording this video and my good old buddy anthony sasano here is talking about uh DeFi token airdrops as universal basic income for people who don't need it <laughs> All right, so how can you claim your uni tokens? Well, I'll put a link to this blog post down below, but it contains all the official links for doing this. So basically, you just want to click through to the Uniswap exchange. And whenever you get there, you'll be able to click on a button up here that allows you to claim your uni. It's just really easy. It just pops up, you click on it, and then you'll have to sign the transaction with MetaMask and your tokens will be sent to your wallet. So I've already done this on this particular account. So I've already got my 400 uni. You can see that here uh, in the status bar up top. It's that easy, right? And there's no gimmicks. And don't forget, if you've used multiple wallets inside your MetaMask account to trade on Uniswap, then you need to do this for every single wallet because you'll have a reward for each of those accounts. All right, so that's how you get your free money. So I'll say this, you know, this video is on a little bit of a delay. So by the time this video comes out, the Uni token's been around for about one week. But if you wanna find out about this stuff a lot faster, you know, I've been talking about this on Twitter, uh, I talked about the uni token as soon as it came out. And I also put out a big announcement to the members of the Blockchain Master University group. And so if you want to hear about this stuff like instantly before I have time to make YouTube videos about it, you can definitely give me a follow on Twitter. And, you know, I open up the Blockchain Master University membership whenever we do the master classes. And of course, I did the Trading Bot Master class just recently. And we've got more exciting master classes coming out really soon. So keep your eyes and ears open so that you can get your chance to join. All right, so let's get on to the rest of these updates. 
Uh, so before I move on to that, I want to tell you about how I just set up my unstoppable domain for my MetaMask wallet. So you can see it here. I just registered the dappydiversity.crypto domain, which is pretty awesome because it takes these uh, MetaMask addresses that are really hard to read, like these, and it turns them into human readable addresses like a domain name. So you could just register like, uh, you know, dappuniversity.crypto. And uh, I already have this, by the way. And you can create your own like domain name for your Ethereum address. They support multiple cryptocurrencies. And also, since I just set this domain up, I'll probably start using this for the official donations for this channel. So if you ever want to donate cryptocurrency to Dappy Diversity, uh, I'll put this address down in the list below. So the next big announcement is about Ethereum 2.0. All right, so if you've been watching this channel for a while, you've heard me talk a lot about ETH 2.0. This is the uh, new and improved version of Ethereum that gets it ready for prime time. So the blockchain becomes really fast, really scalable, support the kind of applications that we need for mass adoption. And the EIP for Ethereum 2.0 phase zero was just submitted, which means that it's going to roll out really soon. So I'll clarify what I mean by that. So Ethereum 2.0 is going to roll out multiple phases. You don't just like flip a switch and turn ETH 2.0 on. Uh, but phase zero has been planned to launch really soon and this is confirmation that it's probably going to happen within a few months and so i made a video recently on my channel about you know how i think ethereum 2.0 is going to get here in 2020 and so it's highly likely that that prediction is going to be right and this is a good reason to think that. And while, like I said, this doesn't just complete the entire Ethereum 2.0 migration, it's just the beginning, we will see staking very soon whenever this launches, okay? And of course, this is not financial advice, but, you know, when a lot of ETH gets locked up for staking, that could have an impact on the price of Ether. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens when phase zero launches and how many people will move over to start staking. All right, so until we see Ethereum 2.0 fully roll out, we're going to have to rely upon intermittent scaling solutions to make Ethereum better right now. Because the gas prices are crazy right now. I mean, we might see gas prices over 500 guay pretty soon. And the transaction speeds are still pretty slow. So there are a few different ones I want to talk about. So the first one is ZK Sync. And Vitalik actually just tweeted about this a few days ago. So uh, ZK Sync is live right now on Gitcoin. Okay, so he was, Vitalik was able to fund different Gitcoin grants. This is basically where people uh, accept donations on the blockchain to fund like open source development and lots of other types of things. I've done some videos on my channel about Gitcoin in the past. But they have uh, implemented this. All right. There's also optimistic rollups. Uh, which if you want to read about that, you can check out the uh, documentation over here at ETHUB. If I remember, I'll put a link down in the description as below as well. And another solution is XDAI. So this is a side chain where you can do fast payments for really cheap. So there's a few different pros and cons, to these different scaling solutions. Like some of them support smart contracts and others don't. Like So some of them are just for payments and some of them are for like general computation, like with smart contracts and actually running programs in the blockchain. And some are more secure than others. And so you might think like, okay, if you use a side chain, like why wouldn't you just do everything on the side chain? Well, that's because uh, the base Ethereum protocol has way more security than like one of these side chains. So for example, like if you wanted to do a million dollar transaction, you'd want to keep that on the base Ethereum layer. But if you want to do small payments, like, you know, to pay for pizza or something like that, you could do it on a side chain like uh, Stake, for example. Or if you wanted to do some of these smaller transactions, you could use one of these like ZK Sync technologies or something like that. So different scaling solutions serve different purposes. There's not one perfect solution for uh, every application. But I do think that we'll see some consolidation around one or two predominant scaling methods. And I think that largely has to do with what Uniswap chooses, okay? You know, early in this video, I talked about how Uniswap is probably one of the most important uh, dApps on Ethereum right now. It's one of the most used dApps on Ethereum. And so whatever scaling solution they go with, that's probably going to be adopted by everybody else. So we'll, so we'll wait and see what happens. All right, so now I want to answer some of your questions. So this is a question that I got from Tim here over email. He says, you know, I've been enjoying your videos, you know, a little bit skeptical about mass adoption. Uh, but in a recent video, you mentioned a time frame for learning blockchain and being able to call yourself a blockchain developer would be one year. So my question is two parts. First, what is the weekly time commitment you would suggest? Eight to 12 hours, et cetera. And also, um, if you're going to maximize your learning, what is the 20% that you would focus on uh, that would give 80% of the results? So we talk about the Pareto principle, which you can see here in the email. So great question, Tim. So let me unpack that. The first one is how much time should you spend per week if you want to become a blockchain developer in one year? Well, that really just depends on how much time do you have available. So, you know, you suggested eight to 12 hours. If you can do eight to 12 hours per week, then do that. That will definitely get you there with that amount of time. But let's say you don't. Let's say you only have, you know, 
an hour every other day or something like that. What you really want to focus on is the consistency, okay? And also just aiming for your goal and not worrying too much about how long it will take you to get there. So in that video where I talked about it taking a year to become a blockchain developer, that's just a guideline. You don't really have full control over what that actual number is, but it's important to just have a goal so that you can break it down and work backward from there. So also, he's talking about what's the 20% that will accomplish 80% of the results. So basically he's saying like, what's the smallest thing you should focus on that's gonna be the most effective if you can't learn everything? Like what's the smallest portion you should learn? So I always recommend like learning the exact skills that you want to get the job that you want and then go from there. So for example, if you wanna become a blockchain developer, let's say you wanna specialize in smart contracts, then you wanna learn all the necessary skills for coding smart contracts, starting there and then learning everything else around that, okay? So that basically means learning Solidity, how to put smart contracts on the blockchain, how to write tests for them. Do all that before you try to learn like how to build user interfaces, how to build web servers and stuff like that. Because if you just have that knowledge, you could go get hired somewhere and learn everything else on the job. I just put out a video that talks about how to get paid to learn blockchain, you should go check that out. That's the whole idea that I outlined in that video is learning just enough to get hired and then you get paid to learn everything else. And so if you want sort of that 20% that accomplishes 80% of the results, then I highly recommend joining the blockchain bootcamp. All right, I just got a message from somebody the other day talking about how they made their career shift from ethical hacker to becoming a blockchain developer and actually got their first blockchain job after completing the bootcamp. So this is just one story of like many people who have landed their first blockchain jobs after doing that. So if you want to get started today, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so that's all I've got today, guys. Again, go make sure you claim your free money, claim your uni tokens uh, over at Uniswap. There's a link down below on how you can do that. Also, you know, leave me a comment. Did you like this video? Did you like this new style where I talk about a lot of different things in one video? You know, as always, smash the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. And so if you are new around here or maybe you've just been getting into this channel and you want to like learn blockchain, you know, up your skills, whether you're a developer or not, how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my free courses there. You know, they're like, they're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. All right. They got step-by-step -step instructions. I show you how to build, uh, you know, tutorial apps. So go check those out. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step or, hey, you know, you want to take a master shortcut entirely, jump into the blockchain, you know, change your career, build your own project, become a freelancer, whatever, then I can show you how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.